Hello, welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIV. Last time we did Hold Mr. Switch, this time we're doing Don Mag. Are you guys ready to queue? My mind! Maybe. Uh, what are you going in as? Reaper. Okay, I will be in my ears. Fear the Reaper, okay. nor do the wind, the sun, the rain. Okay, so story summary since last time. Following the death of the Light Warden that I killed and subsequently absorbed its being without any issue, uh, and with Knight finally returning to Lakeland for the first time in a hundred years, um, everyone at the Crystarium was pogging. They're like, this is sick. I can't wait to meet the Warrior of Darkness. And the Crystal Sock is like, don't tell people you're the Warrior of Darkness because you're never going to get a free moment to yourself. Like... <laughs> You know, just, and then just he was like, I want to throw out a W to my homies. <laughs> um, and uh, so we were just kind of like, you know, chilling, figuring out what to do. And we're like, OK, actually, Yulemore are going to hear about this and they're going to hate this. They already hate us anyway. This is going to definitely prompt them to come knocking. And sure enough, they came pretty much immediately. They sent this guy called General Ranjit, who uh, is basically just this really strong like monk like guy i think he's probably a monk class wise he was basically just you know doing martial arts shit everywhere um and uh he shows up and he's like hmm do you guys have anything to do with this and the crystal exarch was like well i'm not no. saying one way or the other but what if we did and he's like well that would be a huge problem uh, if you guys have anything to do with this then we're gonna come kill you because uh you guys you guys are ruining the stable peace that we have with the sin eaters um because remember v lord vothri who rules you more can apparently control the sin eaters in some way or at least pacify them and uh it's and so it's fat <laughs> it's, it's this fat yeah and so uh <clears throat> they're like, listen, you guys are trying to save this world and it's not going to work. So we may as well just live out the rest of our lives, you know, as peacefully as we can. And you're ruining that. So we're going to go to war with you if you if anything happens with that. Um, unrelatedly, we heard about how when the Flood of Light was stopped by Minfilia, apparently she kind of started getting reincarnated as subsequent generations of girls with blonde hair and blue eyes just like her um who had her powers and who you know basically people would find them and be like oh cool for you can... some reason yeah i don't know why this works exactly but they have the ability to uh i don't know exactly what they can do but they have sort of protective powers that help people against sin eaters um but uh now that yulemore are kind of like working with sin, sin eaters they don't like this girl anymore and they're like they, they tried to kidnap her and apparently Thancred went to go rescue her and they were Thank roaming you. around for a while. <clears throat> but then the girl ran off There's somewhere There's straight up a squirtle over here, man! <laughs> the girl ran off in Lakeland and got kidnapped by uh, Yulemore people, so we went to go rescue her um, and just barely made it out. But uh, the only way we were able to permanently get away is that we took her up to Ilmeg, which is the Fairy Kingdom. Um, because this place is basically like the Lost Woods. Uh, but inhabited by uh, the Pokemon Phantom, where <laughs> if kids die in the forest here, they turn into pixies, um, and basically they'll fuck with you if you come in there, and apparently this is like the one place that Yulemore is not willing to go. Um, so that's convenient. Um, and while we're up here, while we're up here, apparently, while we're up here, the Crystal Exarch is like, hey, you may as well go try and uh, meet up with Uriange and kill the Light Warden. Um, we're like, okay. <laughs> so, as long as you're in town, could you just, you know, destroy this deific being thing? Yeah. We did some tasks for the pixies, and but it seemed like they were just going to keep giving us more tasks to try to annoy us, and we're like, look, what, what can we do about this? They're not going to stop with this. Um, and uh, what we came upon was it was like, oh, actually, the Crystal Exarch, like, has a... F pixie friend who was really interested in helping me ferry my stuff between dimensions because they're interested in the other world and stuff um that was a uh, feo -ul. so we got feo -ul's help oh um, yeah have you seen how you how you control re retainers from the not, first not exactly but i know it involves hey. Feo -ul. Hey. Um, she is uh, aggressively scottish uh, i think all of them are they? Oh. yeah um so, what happened after that? Um, oh yeah, we basically were like, okay, we need to go kill the Light Warden. And the Pixies were like, oh, that's a bit of a sore subject, because the previous Light Warden was just a regular Sin Eater, and our king, Titania, 
went to go kill the Light Warden and won, but then got corrupted by the Light and became the new Light Warden. And, you know, lost their mind. And we're like, oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, Frog. So, yeah. anyway. Um, and so that leads into us being wherever the fuck this is that well, we are. Well, the thing is that the castle where Titania is was sealed up by the pixies. Um, yeah, because they're like, fuck that noise. We're not and that the, the key is... It's not really a key, it's just four items. It's like a dress, a crown, a scepter, and something else. I don't remember what the other thing is. And uh, a bagel. Th these were all given to like different groups of beings in this place, Ilmeg. Um, and uh, one of them was given to like these underwater people who were like, well, we have no attachment to this thing and we're, we're gonna give it to you guys for free. But since you're here anyway, you should uh, you should have some fun and head over to our realm. So we're literally just here because at the whims of random water monsters who, you know, prompted us to do this before they'll give us the thing we need to get into the castle's kilt. Can I, can I point out that the boss just shoved a candy cane directly back up the tank's ass? Oh, good. <laughs> ah, shit, I haven't been using Arcane Circle. Whoops. I am pretty sure I have only ever seen this dungeon once because I don't remember it at all, and it's. I've seen it like twice. It never. I, comes I up. like it. It's very pretty looking. You but think it would come up more well, than this. most because it's a MSQ dungeon. Uh, no, because it's a, it's an MSQ dungeon that's not a multiple of ten. Oh, that's the true. only queue it can show up in is the leveling. Well, hang queue. on a minute. And hang the on later in the expansions you get, the less likely it minute. is for those to show up. Every duty can only show up in one queue. It shows up in the leveling queue, which like because oh it has a bunch of awkward levels. Like it's why the was I dead? A, a line I, I I can't take. I'm you. I'm very. I'm struggling a lot with this. Like this, I wasn't. This I wasn't complaining ass. about you. I'm wondering why I was even taking so much damage in the first place because there wasn't any like obvious spots that were dangerous. That I was standing in. I, I was just. I, I was don't just know, existing. but I was. I got very close to dying as well. Mm -hmm. There were water areas all over the place. Yes, but did there I was no indicator. Hello. No, you didn't. Uh, there was no indicator. I absolutely did. I used my swift cast. Where the fuck did it go? I don't know. Hate this game. Yeah, I don't know why it's swift reses don't work. Mm. Off the time. There's another fucking squirtle over here. Daily dead ahead. Wrong way. Oh yeah, it mentions there that that was a verbatite circlet of whatever striking. Um, yeah, this is Vo Burtonburg. Verbert, yeah, Verbert was a kingdom that used to be here, um, full of people that uh, fucking died when the light showed up. So they're dead now. Game. So the pixies moved in. Shitty. Actually, I don't remember. What, I don't know. I think the. The pixies had to leave because the place they originally lived got was in the, where the light was. I don't remember what happened to Berber. Uh, I'm pretty sure the light just destroyed it. Well, n no, because it's in Ilmeg. I guess yeah. the people got killed by Saint Eaters, is what you mean? Yeah. It, okay. The apocalypse happened and they died. Yeah, and Berber is basically the equivalent of Ishgard. It's really cool. It uh, it's underwater now, and you can go down there and see it. It looks cool. I went underwater a little bit, but I didn't go too far and find much of anything. Ooh. Leaves. Thinking on it, I, I think there is exactly one living Vobertite left in the world. Huh. I think a lot of, uh, this is really random, but I feel like a lot of PS2 games had stuff that looked like this, like Ilmeg. I think I get what you mean. Like, I feel like this sort of However, like, fairy tale land aesthetic was used in a lot of stuff. It was. 
a lot of RPGs of the time, I guess, just had that style. I was thinking more I like will... action adventure platformer type things, like some of the Rayman, th 3D Rayman. Games I will and stuff. Uh, counterpoint with, um, you know, ATV Off Road Fury Two, <laughs> which looks nothing like this. No, I didn't. I didn't mean a majority or even close. No, to I like... know. I'm just saying. I feel like more than other generations, the PS2 had a lot of fairy tale inspired games. It's, I guess uh, I wouldn't it's because know, of Tales of I Symphonia. I played very few things on PS2. I mean, Tales I haven't played very many things on PS2 either, but I'm talking about that whole generation, PS2, Xbox, GameCube. Yeah. While excluding uh, it, things that are specifically GameCube only, you know? Like, it's multi the fault of Eternal Darkness. All I know is, uh, you know, ATV Offered Fury, so nothing seems to satisfy my appetite, Bobo. And all of this horrible graffiti is to blame. Griol. The reason? It must be obvious. Or whatever the fuck it is he says. <laughs> Sounds familiar. It's quite obvious. Yes? I don't want my attacks don't go through. Swinge? Growl. That's, uh, that's pretty swinge, bro. What are we fighting? Is this a tree wolf? I can't yes. see a tree. Oh, it's like a dinosaur or something. Uh, dinosaur. Like a dinosaur. Bull to be. Bull to be. Timber. Uh, what is this? I don't know. I don't like it. I'm I just absorbing one wanna... of these. Okay. I assumed we probably wanted to absorb those. Uh, yeah, probably. I. Bet. I... See, I, I came to that conclusion, like, a half second before it absorbed it. So. Swinge! We'll see. I'm used to those being, like, an attack that you don't want. Yeah. Well, those, you always want those. Hmm. You What you don't want is to have them all pointed at the same person. I see. What do you mean, Timber? I, I said name. that. Oh. It's Timber! Good. Main character of Diddy Kong Racing. Uh-uh. Yeah, oh, get yeah, trees. We don't know. We're trees. I can help. I helped. Oh no, I'm dead. Black tools. No jokes, Pucket. This is serious cheese. Chiz. I think we might fall. Mania. Something tells me we fall. Then he falls. This. Coffee. This boss doesn't have any mechanics. Yeah, it had that one where it got bigger. That was like it. I guess we're paying the price because it's taking ages to go. Oh, yeah. So, how do we pick him up? I don't get it. You kind of stand near them and it kind of ah, magnetizes to you. Well, he big. Why did he get big again? Oh, man. Oh, that's a wipe! Wow. What the fuck? Is that because we didn't do enough the first time? So then the yeah, second time. Yeah, I, I it assume was... it takes the sum. Yeah, that's, that's probably That's horseshit. So, so Very basically. Long wipe. So basically, you basically have to do all four both times. Um, so you're fucked. Basically. Good shit. Beanie Baby Police. Beanie Baby Mafia. Beanie Baby's China. China. Beijing. Uh, cake and apple pie. Oh, the bicycles. Oh yeah, I had a dream that involved uh, pie and segregation. <laughs> yeah, so I had. I didn't hear nothing, ever. I was at like some, I guess it was just a store, but it was like also half a library or something. And uh, the aisles were very random with what they contained. Uh, like you might have an aisle that contains books of uh, authors S to L. I don't know how the fuck that worked out, mm -hmm. but that's how I remember it being. Uh, and then the next aisle is just towels. 
good. And there was one that just had a pie sitting out uncovered, and it was like, I swear this pie did not have like a top. It was just had like blueberry filling just exposed. Good. But uh, the most important thing about this store is that uh, only certain races were allowed in certain oh. aisles. It was like, you know, if you want to go into the towels aisle, like you have to be brown. Brown. <clears throat> well, that's just silly. Tim Beer. Uh, hey, I was holding. That I one. know. I'm sorry. I was close to that one. I'm yeah, bigger. Well, he got a little bit bigger. Well, there's five of them, so we're never gonna get all of them. Yeah. Oh, I thought there were only four. Fucking authors S to L. Clearly, it just means S through Z and then A through L. Can you do the same boss again? Can you solve my invisible maze? Yes, I can. I can't. Oh no. Swinge your AOE from side. From side. Bad. Five times. Take a long, hard look at Randy. <laughs> hey there, Rover. Come on over. I'm not sure if, uh, if the boss will last another 20 seconds, what do you think? What is 20 seconds? Okay, instead of I'll just use it. Well, you're sure as hell not going to use it on anything else. Eh, it's a party wipe buff, it, you could use on trash mobs. Didn't even get to do his attack that time. <laughs> yeah. I assume well, his defense goes up by how much he, how much bigger he gets. How are we walking on the wall? Man, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Did we get like an introductory cutscene to this dungeon? I don't think I saw it. You watched uh, it. Yeah, you did. Well, I was not paying attention. I always like how the, well, I usually like how the thumbnails come out on these, because usually the shot of the dungeon is very nice. Aw, it's a fake. Aw, he was a boy oh, no. anyway. Stop looking at yourself. <laughs> Something smells! Gee, I wonder. Gee, I wonder. I wonder which one to... Yes. We did the most important part. <clears throat> I swear, this music sounds like it would be in the video game adaptation of, like, a movie directed by Chris, like, Chris Columbus. <laughs> Good. What other movies do you make other than the first two Harry Potter films that I actually know? Home Alone. Um, uh, I don't know what else other than that. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Stepping up! Couldn't do it. Rev up those fryers! Uh hmm. I hope I don't die. Okay, let's do it. Well, I've done all I can do. 
Oh boy, is this uh, pushing me. Mm. We need to ditch some of these enemies. Stataroni. I'm trying. Oh, Actually, you know what else this is reminding me of is uh, the fucking uninvited quest for the Red Diamond music, <laughs> yes. which I, I think is just from Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Now I'm wondering if... Uh... Shit, who's the composer for that? It's... It's just Danny Elfman. I Danny think, Elfman. Right? I'm wondering... I'm... Now I'm wondering if, if there's any connection one? there, because... Well, Harry Potter wasn't John Williams, was it? It was John Williams, yeah. Okay. It was John Williams, but the games were uh, Jeremy Soul. At least the first few games were Jeremy Soul, who's the uh, like Oblivion and Skyrim guy, and Guild Wars too. You mean Todd Howard? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the music. The music of Guild Wars two, um, the original Harry Potter games, and Oblivion and Skyrim are all the same guy. Also, I just realized these are naiads, allegedly. Yeah, it's like a water elemental, right? Water genie. Uh, well, they're a uh, they're a thing in Fable Haven that are basically like mermaids, and uh, they just Same kind here. of drown people for the hell of it because they think it's funny. And yeah. uh, there was a major character that was a naiad that gave up her immortality to become human. Faye pistol. <laughs> What the fuck is this boss, and what is this name? <clears throat> yeah, I saw this when I was looking this up. He, uh, you know, has a lengthsome gate. So he's a long way. You wanna boy. see it? I'm gonna call this guy Don Kikroki. That was bad. <clears throat> Something about the vocal filter on, um, yeah, on the, on the vocals in this boss theme sounds very, like, 2000s alt-rock to me or something. <laughs> it does sound odd. Uh oh Yeah, Imp Choir. Imp Chair. Probably. Toad Chair. No, Whoa. you fucking asshole! Hooked on monkey phonics. I'm a frog. Hooked on phonics. Gif of an anime girl turning into a chair. Whoa. Over here now. Can you walk the tight rope? Oh, this is just Bugsy's gym in the remake. Don't fall. It won't be easy. We fall. Stop him. I kind of liked that mechanic. It was <laughs> stupid, but it was interesting. Yeah, I like unique mechanics. It's better than just, can you dodge the circle, AoEs? Yeah. We'll see how you fucking feel when we start doing savages, mother. Why is he turned into Kukulon? What the fuck? I mean, I'm not saying that the circle AoEs are always trivial, but they are boring. Yeah. Yeah, this is just Kukulon. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> That's not even how that song goes. Cuckoo Kachoo Lane. Yeah, puke. Don't say yeah to that. That's not <laughs> yeah worthy. You don't take the Joy-Con and do a gesture with it. Yeah. <laughs> Blue. And then yep. there's got to be that one person that's like, oh man, someone had a fetish.
Sometimes it seems like you can kind of tell, but then often it is just people reading into, into it what they want to see, so... Then you remember that the only horny bastard here is the one making the claim. <laughs> I'm bleeding. He sang and my ears bled. Oh. My mind immediately went to Spongebob as Squidward's clarinet in his dream. See, my mind just went to uh, Spoonie's review of FF8 where he's talking about, uh, is it Renoa? Who's like, you know, she plays piano at the bar. She wants to sing, but the bar won't let her. <laughs> uh, that's Renoa's mom. Damn it. Oh no, we're gonna win while I'm a frog. Oh no. <laughs> it happened. He turned into water, which instantly evaporated. Oh, yeah, con consistently, my character is not very excited to be beating these duties. <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, as with last time, in the cutscene, the, ca the character doesn't go like, yeah, like they usually do after duty, they just kind of solemnly look to the ground. They're fucking depressed. Have you seen this world? Yeah. Depressing. It is depressing. Dead. <clears throat> Dead inside. Don't open it. Oh, there's the, there's the quote-unquote new Minfilia. She, uh... Has her own name, but the game has not deigned to tell me that tell me it yet. Well, because she doesn't have it yet. Oh, hey. she doesn't. Surely she had a name before that. she was identified as a Minfilia. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it doesn't come up until later. Okay. Now I just remembered the nameless boy that won the pie eating contest. <laughs> Oh no, it's the frog guy again. I thought you turned nice. into water. But I, would have it no other way. I thought so you turned I into water. <laughs> well, he did in the cutscene. He went like, <laughs> and just exploded into water and, you know, was gone. Man, I fucked this up. Yours for the taking. Have care you do not break it though, yes. I like how this one chapter of the story has a collect four MacGuffins thing, and one of the MacGuffins requires a duty. Ah. Sir, I love booty. You are mighty indeed, and pleasing to the eye besides. Stop hitting on me, you're a frog. <laughs> that's that's a perfect face. I'm gonna have to screenshot that afterwards. The warrior of light made this like disgusted face. <laughs> oh, shut up! Ugh. Everything around here is a fucking widow. Yeah, that sounds like Il Meg. The Pixies had the power to turn people into things, too. They kept turning people into bushes that got lost in the place. What is this nonsense? That's the eternal question, isn't it, Steve? What is this rumpus? Oh hey Albert. I can't remember if I mentioned him in my uh updates before, but he uh has been showing up whenever I'm in my hotel room to give his commentary on the program you just watched. <laughs> it's this guy. I met him and he, and I was like, You're the warrior of darkness. He's like, Oh yeah, I did use that name when I was in the source. Bit of a stupid name now that I think about it. <laughs> Now, I'm the warrior of darkness, and you're a loser. 
Oh, were they trying oh, to get loser. me just by drowning me, not realizing I can breathe underwater? I'm sure you had your reasons. The first rule of dealing with the Fwas is do not deal with the Fwas. It's said that they are born from the souls of the drowned. That's so. Were it not for your little trick, you'd have joined them. I don't understand. Your friends what are safe back going on, on dry land, in case you were wondering. They'll be searching for you, I expect. Are all of the beings in Ilmeg gonna be, if you die from X method, you turn into this? Uh, but he's got a bag of food. <laughs> Set in their ways. But once you got to know that you could Why? Find people, it always what is this? Being up in the mountains. So we pull up our chairs, round the fire, and trade tales over steaming bowls of lamb stew. While the street lamps. Forgot people called snakes and nope ropes. Oh, are you, are you from here, Andre? Noodles. Yeah, I think he's from Vobertenburg. Everything we did. But he's dead. Everything we gave. He doesn't count. Well, Vobertenburg is the city. Verbert is the country. Yeah, I assume he's from the city. Yeah. yeah. He looks like a city boy to me. <laughs> You'll have a better answer than this when all's said and done. I want. Well, it is a diehard battery. <laughs> what? And it's just a picture I sent. Good. Alright. So yeah, uh, next time I will have presumably gotten the rest of the things I need to enter the castle, Do which can I see it from here? Presume. Uh, I don't think I can see it from here. Unless I, uh... not presume. Hang on. Maybe if I get out of this fucking water... Oh, I think I know what the problem is here. It ain't got no gas in it. Yeah, I don't think it has any gas in it. <laughs> uh, there it is. Yeah. There's the castle that we're trying to get to. Where Titania is. So yeah, next time we'll be doing... Oh, actually no, same video. I'm just going to have to cut and edit it together. Yeah, late. <laughs> it, it, in three seconds, I will be doing uh, the Dancing Plague season. Alright, continuing where we left off. Uh, I am here in... Still in, Ilme still, still in Ilmeg, um, near this castle, Liagia. Um, let me add you guys to the list. Since last time, we've basically just gone around getting the... Oh, right, we're in a party. Um, yeah, you have to have Let me add you and then Q if you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready. We'll be Dancing Plague. Um, so, yeah, we basically went around getting the rest of the things that seal this place up. Um, including meeting the Numo, which is sort of like dog people that for some reason have it biologically hard coded Wait, you into are them. going in as a healer? Yes. They have it biologically hard coded into them to uh respond to like dog commands, which is kind of fucking weird. Um <laughs> and uh we also met a village of talking Amaro. Amaro are basically this the first version of Chocobos, they're sort of like these weird black feathered lizards. Um and uh with like four wings. Um Basically, some of them, like, if they get old enough, they can start talking. And one of them was, like, the former companion of Ardbert, the guy I mentioned before who was, like, the warrior of darkness, who, yeah, um, is, his ghost is basically following me around and offering commentary occasionally. Um, here you can see my new uh, healer outfit that I made. I think it's pretty cute. Um, I believe I actually got this main body piece from the Gimlet Dark. I think in the video I looked at it, I'm like, oh, I like this. <laughs> um, 
so that's fun. But yeah, um, and then uh, we learned a little bit about Titania as well. Titania is a title that is passed to like the leader of the um, Pixies, or rather the Fey Folk in general. And uh, though Light Wardens usually and uh, Sin Eaters in general usually have no you know personality left because they're just basically blank slates of you know destruction or whatever. Um, Titania kept their personality um, and their desire to like you know play and have fun and be free, uh, which is sort of slowly letting them break out of the castle. So this is a taking time bomb waiting to happen anyway. Um, and we basically just had to reassure everyone, like, yeah, we're, we're gonna do our best, we, we can't be, you know, uh, possessed, so, you know, we'll probably be fine, we've killed the Lightwoman before. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, and, oh, and, uh, also, the leader of the Fae is very powerful and commands nature, apparently. Don't know exactly how this will manifest. Um. She's the leader of the bunch. Yes. So, uh... I'm trying to think what else to say. Um, oh yeah, we had a little bit of a moment with the new Minfilia, where she kind of told us that like, you know, she gets the feeling that Thancred doesn't like her at all, and you know, is just pissed off that this isn't you know his Minfilia that he knows and wants her to be her. Um, and we didn't really get a chance to say anything about that, even though we saw the vision where. You know, we had a bit more detail about that. <clears throat> She's like, I can feel that the real Minfilia, you know, her soul wants me to do something. She wanted me to meet you or maybe help you. I don't know. And basically, she's just very sad and doesn't know what to do with herself. <clears throat> Which, uh, again, we didn't really get to say anything about that oh. in, in character. Yeah, I'm playing Sage. I'm told this is a very difficult duty. Um, It tends to wipe parties. I uh, may remember it when I see it. I probably won't. And it's got bopping music. <laughs> is that this? No, that's Castlevania. Okay. Oh yeah, of course it is. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I what already made us get wiped. I don't know why this is called the Dancing Plague. There's another person with my almost almost my exact glam. Good. Oh. They have different shoes. And they're using oh, different I pants. What are these pants? Now. Hasn't started for me yet. They're also a machinist. Yep. What gun are they using? It's the fucking Deep Shadow pistol. What are these pants? Tantalus breeches. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, quick, well, first of all, on the tank, Cardia. And here I thought I was the only person running around as Irvine. <laughs> Suppose it had to happen eventually. Can you guess which one? Uh, nothing. I, I thought it was assume... like this versus like a different spot could both be the AOE. I assume it's a, a savage mechanic that she's referring to. Oh, good. So you just keep the dialogue the same. Uh oh. We want to get in these, I okay. think. When the timer goes off, but not before, really. Uh, okay. Well, close enough. Well. Yeah, we seem okay. Oops, oh, now we want to get in these, or? Uh. This, when this fist tries to attack us, yeah. Oh. Here comes the giant fist! <laughs> 
that's something that'll often wipe people because they don't know what to do about it. Mm. Yeah. La 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 la. La 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 la. Now that everyone's in is... Endwalker gear, actually, I don't know if this is such a hmm. okay. problematic fight anymore. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, you're gonna be like Zant? Just change the battlefield? Change oh, the conditions of the test. Fight. Okay, yeah, I hate this one. Hmm. Twist and spread. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Now come on, baby. Oh, shit. We got these. Hello. Uh. Why am I doing that? I have better healing options. Hello, hello, hello. Uh. Okay. Uh. You made me use Drocoli. Oh, well, that's tough shit. Not you. Ooh, uh. You made me use Exocoli. <laughs> it works for all of the off globals. Well, what is this? Uh, AOE's probably in order. Don't stand in the AOE's. Uh oh. Uh. Suit this. Uh, okay, and then... Nice sound effect. Yeah. Woo! Okay. I'm doing alright. When is she gonna do the thing? There we go. The more the merrier. Look good. Thought I remembered Mustard being involved in this fight. Yeah, somehow. there's definitely Mustard. Good. Sure. Ugh. Uh. There's also fuck over here. It's exactly, I think. Hmm. Looks like you no. need something I can't give you. Whoops. These guys uh. usually get killed in a certain order. I don't know oh. why. All right. Um, it is not the order we've killed them, but oh. I mean, that that's fine. I don't think it matters right now. I think it matters <laughs> now. Round two. <laughs> what is the order? Uh, mustard, Puck, Peace Blossom. That's usually what so I we're see gonna kill the big ones. I don't, don't know if there's a reason for that. I think the reason might just be the types of attacks they do. Okay. But I'm not 100%. I've never oh, understood yeah. this fight completely. Ow. Is Mustard Seed dead? Oh, it is. Um, yeah, he is. We got him. We got him, we got him. What are we doing now? Puck? Puck. I got the summoner. Oh, sorry. I didn't even realize. Bad healer. It's okay. I'll uh, pop him a uh, Drocoli. There you go. Eat oh. your Drocolis. Oh, shit. Sorry. So, we finish off Puck, aren't we? Ooh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, okay. Let's pop a regen. Yeah, this fight normally by now had would have already had a couple wipe points, and we've hit neither of them. I think this is not going to be a problem. Okay. Well, I'm this guessing, does seem a little trickier than a lot of GTs. So. I'm guessing the fact that we're all in, like, Endwalker gear is probably having something to do with that. And maybe people are just more used to the fight, I don't know. Hey, my thing actually got timed well. Not intentionally so, but... <laughs> I always like it when my little uh, healing bomb happens to go off right after a big attack. Remember, we just smoke. They pinch back. Smoke. There's Bowser! Uh, In a water puddle. Yep. I don't know if I got that shield out fast enough. 
Oh. Ooh. Double vine bullshit. I didn't see where the other one was aimed. No, it looks like I'm good. Yeah. I only saw one. <laughs> I like double vine bullshit. Yes. Double the double the vine. Bullshit. Being on the vine. Well, vining on the vine. Ooh. Oh. You need a Torokali immediately. Okay. Oh. So, uh, I'll get them. I already did. Where? Well, I thought you were gonna when you said you need, but then you nope. said something else. No, so I, I saw- I, I was looking at the tank because they were about to get a tank buster to the face. Face. That. I think we're good. And we're good. Yay! Yeah, That's that fun. wasn't anywhere near as big a deal. Give the commendation to Irvine. <laughs> Give it to me! I'm Irvine! I've always been Irvine! Wow, I didn't get any. I got two. That's weird. I don't normally they get They actually things. dropped two. Maybe it's because I waited. <laughs> By that logic, I should have like three because I'm in cutscene. <laughs> I mean, you might. You I might was, have I was more just because you're new. That too. I think I did People okay. I didn't, like... I didn't res anyone, but that's just because you were quicker on the draw because you're you know, more experienced as healer and stuff. Um, okay. I think now I did fine. Now I'm going to violate Seabreeze. Yeah. There we go, and now uh, nighttime should return to Ilmeg. What a horrible time to have a That course. was a little bit of a different animation than uh, the previous one, but yeah. I wonder if the light being, you know, going away animation is going to be subtly different everywhere. Yeah, 10.01 a.m. and it's dark. <laughs> Let's see, how many did I get? I got one. Alright, cool. Oh, I completely forgot to mention that uh, the Yule Morans are basically at our back. So we had kind of a time limit to do this. Because they were slowly pushing through. The fairies are trying to delay them, but yeah. Not that I expected any less you can only delay the military might of fat-ass Mick uh, Sin Eater ass over there for so long before, uh, I don't know, they just get through sheer force of will. So it wasn't originally to seal up the castle? Oh. Think how this whole ass pizza plus soda is cheaper than some DoorDash shit I get. Um, yeah. Yeah, I got a medium pizza and a sandwich and a two liter of Coke, and it was cheaper than me ordering a burger and some nuggets from McDonald's. Yeah, I can't exactly do that. Fail. Sorry. These guys are so fucking possessive. Every fucking, like, what we were talking before about every, uh, you know, everybody wanting the Warrior of Light's dick. Everyone here wants the Warrior of Light to fucking join them. <laughs> yeah. Join me, Link. Literally all of the fairies have expressed an interest in, like, can, can you become one of us, please? And I'm like, yeah. no. <laughs> yep, they're all like that. <clears throat> they all have the hots for you for some reason. <laughs> I like this. Now that uh, you have a friend who is Titania, uh, that, that comes up a couple times. Oh, is Faeol going to become the, the new king? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> I assumed it had already been... Nope. Uh, they just said it just now, so... Yeah. It was only sorry, like I spoiled you time. about three seconds ahead of time. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's actually not fine. I'm upset. Apology not accepted. I'm calling, I'm calling the police. Yeah. yeah, this this definitely gets lorded over a couple of the other fairies. I think, you know, they're like, there's some dialogue where they'll try to start fucking with you, and then you're like, yeah, but I don't think Titania would like that very much. <laughs> and they're like, holy shit, you waited this long to tell us? 
Lamal. LOL. Ilmeg means Kingdom of Rainbows. Okay. I did not remember that. Now, shall we attend to those unwise enough to trespass in our realm? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I will not object. Let's do it. They're just standing here. They're not even doing anything. It's probably because they're confused because of the Fey magic. Confound it. How did they get here so fast? They walked. It's not that far. <laughs> How in the seven hells? You're on fire. We come in pursuit of villains. They keep calling us villains. That's like their whole thing. I guess that's supposed to be in, you know, their their insult because the Guardians call everyone savages. I didn't pick up on this because it just it came up once in the first cutscene with Ranji. He's like, if you would aid these villains, I'm like, dude, stop being so dramatic. But no, he's he's consistently doing it. I think that's just what they do. Is they call. It's they call their enemies villains. You know who I guess from their perspective you are. I guess. My perspective is Jedi or evil. You're the warrior of darkness. In the in the source, you know, the warriors of darkness were your villains. Yeah, but that's because of the specific actions they were taking. <laughs> um But uh I mean, like I said, the conflict with these guys is basically them being like, you know, Every, they're doomers, and we're, you know, we're on hopium. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, yeah. I like that. Um, they're like, this isn't gonna work, we're all gonna die, and just gonna make our last few years, you know, less pleasant for everyone. So you may, we, may, we have to give up, and we're like, no, we can literally save all of you. And they're like, stop trying, you're just gonna make things worse. So, yeah. Stop fucking with the Sin Eaters. They're gonna come and fuck us up or something. Except they won't, because Valtteri won't let them, but... <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if after a certain point Valtteri is just like, I'm literally hold gonna hold my entire city hostage if you don't stop. That seems like the kind of shit he would do. It is the sort of shit he would do. The problem is, you know... His city is also his support structure for maintaining this army that's, you know, doing his thing. So I like, guess. Willful child. You know, we wouldn't be incentivized to fix that in a hurry. You know, we'd be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll get to that last. <laughs> I do know that Calusia is the last place we free, which makes sense. It is. I won't return to your mall. And I won't let you hurt my friends. What is this stance? Where did you learn it? No Oracle Thank would make such an unseemly show of herself. No, you're shame, gal. You're Gal. Gal. You no <laughs> Said that at exactly the same time on my end. <laughs> I will say the fuck was that? So yeah, w w the first time we met this guy when he showed up in the Crystarium to meet with the Crystal Exarch. The Exarch had us stay in the room and just had us turn invisible and he seemed to like stare right at us so we had the impression that this guy could like sense people's presence with his instincts or something if she was powerless it's because of you you sanctimonious swine but no longer if there are no less than three sanctimonious sausages <laughs> Fine, so gets more suffering. It is through acceptance alone that one may find solace in this God's forsaken world. Defiance only begets more suffering, more like destruction begets decay. Egg leads to omelet. Omelet <laughs> leads to fecal, fecal emergency. emergency. Fecal urgency, yeah. How's that for pointless? She's done it. Or hopeless. The warrior of darkness has triumphed. General, what are our orders? Isn't it like, hold on, what time is it? It was 10 a.m. when it's I... It's uh... noon. 
It's one. A, it's one p.m. What, yeah, it was ten a.m. when this? I when I finished the duty. We came to do: subdue this rabble and find the warrior of darkness. So the cutscene's gonna end, and it's just gonna be daytime. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Probably. Take the villains captive. <clears throat> Are you deaf? I said. Oh shit! Yeah, they mentioned they can do this. I mean, isn't this why they were hesitant to come in here in the first place? Like. Is this the fucking, like, stone vigil music? I think it might be. That wasn't there before. Oh god, the flaff. The flaff. Flaff. The frog people. Horrifying. And they only, uh, <clears throat> only gained the ability to do this just now, I guess. Uh, maybe. Which seems odd. I feel like they could have just always done this. Maybe it's because they're in Concord with the current Titania? Maybe. I was going to question my ability to fly, but technically this quest is going to give me the final Aether current I need, so... General, they come in greater numbers. They're coming on you to fly. This guy in his fucking Rivals cardamond ass haircut. <laughs> All who stand with a warrior of darkness shall pay <laughs> dying. My master demands it. Yeah, yeah. Well, then you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> oh, did he? He's like, we're gonna fuck you up, and then he just left. Yep. <laughs> wow. That's uh, some big speech. It would, you. it would definitely take me, like, you know, a good few hits to kill any one of these soldiers if there was, like, a combat duty right now, and yet the Pixies could just... <laughs> You're a yeah. now. They're, OP. they're OP. Well, that was a time. <laughs> I see. Well, it's a good thing Fair all volunteered to become king in your stead, for all our sakes. We are grateful for your timely aid, Fair, or should I say, your Majesty. It was the first night in recent memory. We all of us but wished to make the most of it. That's something you must remember about us, Fair folk. Though our existence may be eternal, we exist only for the present. Present. I don't. I. I I've kind of come to dislike Scottish accents. I don't really know why. <laughs> Something about them just pisses me off. <laughs> Irish, fine. Northern, fine. Welsh, fine. West Country, fine. Something about Scot the Scottish accent I just don't like. <laughs> Recently, I. I don't know why. Driven as men are, we cannot fight for such causes as men do. Does that mean you won't aid us against the Sin Eaters? No, they won't. <laughs> Not unless the mood takes us. But if it was to repay a debt, well then, that's another matter. To take back as much as is taken. To create as much as is destroyed. So basically they're saying, look, uh, when you go to the wreck, take a great wood, you're on your own. Yep. Lahe. <laughs> By this law. What do you mean there's a person just called Mog Station? <laughs> I love the people with stupid usernames like that, like a viewing cutscene. Yeah. That's <laughs> one of the best things about just hanging out on Limza, is just you see people with the most ridiculous names walk by. <clears throat> And in the most ridiculous outfits. 
big nudist comes to mind, not that I've seen him for a long time. I don't know what to say here. I'd say I was sad to lose you, but uh, I'd be lying. <laughs> I shall remain at your side. Even should my Your choice mattered so much. It's a simple thing to have a little part of me accompany you. Treat them as you would the Fisnefis. Okay. One thing I don't like about the pixies is how it looks like part of their hair, like, fuses. Yeah, into, it looks like, really creepy. <laughs> at that junction, it fuses doesn't look into right. Their, yeah, into their head. It doesn't look like a normal hairline. I assume that's intentional. Like, it's not supposed to look natural or something. Alright. Well, now that's taken care of. It's daytime, but at least the place doesn't look like it's, you know... Pulsating with light. Yeah, at least the place doesn't look like it's currently being blessed by some deity's presence. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hey, put it that way, it sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> I was in cutscene by Sweat. Anyway, that is now flight. Yay. Cool. Yeah, I just meant be. it was over the top, that's all. I didn't mean it was a bad yeah. thing, necessarily. Yep. So, uh, next time is, I believe, the Kitana Ravel. We will be relieving uh, the Rakitika yeah. Greatwood of uh, its own uh, overabundance of light. Yeah, I think so, which means you've got a lot to get through, because you have to get through literally yep. the whole Rakitika Greatwood. Yep. See you then.